In this video, I'm going to show you how you can validate a blockchain. So in my last video, I showed you how to create a basic blockchain and how to add blocks in the blockchain. And also I showed how data is stored in the blockchain. And finally, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make sure that data is safe on the blockchain and why blockchain is called a superhero. Hey everyone, this is Kamran and I'm a soft full stack blockchain developer. So in this series of videos, I'm going to teach you how you can develop your own blockchain and how you can develop decentralized applications on this blockchain. So in this last video, we created this simple blockchain and inside that we created a method to add multiple blocks in this block. Now we have to derive some method to validate this blockchain so that when we add some data to the blocks, the data remains safe. So how exactly we can do that? And I think the better way to think of that is to look at the how the blockchain looks like right now and then we can derive from there like how we can define whether the blockchain is valid or not. So in order to validate a blockchain, we have to validate its every block and how to do that. So there are two ways to validate a block of a blockchain. Remember how we created a hash of a block? We used the data of the block to create it and if the data on the block is changed then the, this hash will also change. So in order to validate a block we can simply generate a new hash using the data and then we can compare that new hash with this hash. And then if it is same everything is good else something is definitely fishy. Then there is a second way as we all know we store a previous block hash into the current block. So we can simply compare the last block of hash of the current block with the hash of its previous block. And if it is same then good else again something is really fishy. So now let's try to code whatever we have discussed right now. I am going to create a method called as is valid blockchain. And inside this method, I'm going to iterate through all the blocks of the blockchain. I'm going to validate each of the block. For that, I'm going to use a for loop and I'm going to iterate through this dot chain. And each element in the chain is block. I'm going to name it as a block. Now what I have to do, I have to simply create a new hash out of the data of that block and compare that new hash with the stored hash. If both are same, then everything is good. Else we have to return false. Now let's create a new hash. So that will be new hash and we can simply create a new hash using this create hash method. Now we have to simply compare this new hash with the stored hash. So I am going to compare this does not equals to block dot hash. And if this is true, we have to return. This means the blocks data is being changed. If we pass through all the iterations of the blocks, then we just have to simply return true. That means the blockchain is valid. So the, from this validation, we are going to make sure no data in the blockchain is ever changed. So let's try to demonstrate this. So first here, I'm going to add two more blocks. The balance will be 200 and 300 respectively. And we have to change this idea as well. So it will be two and three. Now, instead of just displaying this coins data, we are also going to call this method is valid blockchain or not so this will return true or false according to the blockchain let's try to run this and see the output so here we can see that all the four blocks are printed and the method have written true now what we can do we can change the data on in any of the block and then we can try to run this again so here let's try to change the block data so that will be chain and we will change third block and it's data and inside that data we have balance, right? So we are going to change that balance to 500. Now if I run this again, so I will clear the screen and I'm going to run this again. So here if I run this again, it will return false, but we can't see the data of this block too. So I'm going to just print this block. So here I'm just going to print the third block of the chain. Now again, if I'm going to run this. So here we can see that the balance is changed to 500, but the validation method is returning false. That means this, this whole block chain is not valid. So as a hacker, what I can do, I can change the data. So let's say if I can change the balance to 500 and I can regenerate the hash for that block. I can simply call chain to 
dot hash and then that hash i can update with the create hash method so kwk coin and chain and i can call it the create hash method so this this will create a new hash for this block and that will be using this balance so if we here when we run the script again this is going to return true just to avoid this type of flaw according to the definition of blockchain it always contains the last block hash as well so we are simply going to compare that with the block hash and that will return true or false accordingly now what we have to compare we have to simply compare the previous block which is the dot chain and that will be index minus one dot hash and we have to compare this with the current block last block hash and if these two hashes are not same then we have to simply return false and this will handle the case which we are facing right now we have to avoid iterating to the first block as we know the first block is always the genesis block and this does not contain any data we have to avoid that so the index should start with one and i'm going to run this again so here you can see that again method is returning false so this is how we can avoid the situation in which any block can change the data on the blockchain and this is exactly how the blockchain remains safe and these these are the things which i love about blockchain i hope you understood these fundamentals I, and i will recommend you to practically implement these functionalities so that you can understand it deeply this is it for this video i hope you like this video so see you in the next video with more videos on the blockchain happy coding everyone